Coming up, the local experts give us their picks for the big game. This is Locked On Game to Game NFL. Every game, every team, every angle. Locked On Game to Game, your team every day. Welcome in. You're listening to Locked On Game to Game NFL. Thank you so much for making Locked On your first listen every single weekday. Today, our Locked On local experts from around the country are giving us their picks for the Super Bowl this Sunday between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles. We've got a ton of picks and takes to get to, and what better place to start than with the Super Bowl teams themselves. The Eagles and Chiefs will do battle for the Lombardi Trophy this weekend, and our Locked On hosts from both teams give us their picks. Gino Camilleri here, host of the Locked On Eagles podcast, to bring you the final keys to victory for the Philadelphia Eagles as they take on, for a chance to win their second Super Bowl ring, the Kansas City Chiefs and ex-head coach Andy Reid. Let's start there. Nick Sirianni and company has to know that Andy Reid has a great group of coaches and is a brilliant offensive mind that they cannot hesitate to throw their punches. They have to be like Doug Peterson, leave it all on the line. Going to the quarterback room, Jalen Hurts, same thing. Patrick Mahomes is across from you. Do not waver. This is a team that has a ring. All of these guys have to know that there's one game left, and Nick Sirianni has been preaching it. It's not about being tough. It's about being tougher longer, and that's the Philadelphia Eagles game plan. Go into this game, play smash mouth football, run the ball, possess the ball, Take the ball out of the hands of Patrick Mahomes, and you'll be walking away with your second Super Bowl ring. Fingers crossed. Gino Camilleri, host of the Lockdown Eagles podcast. Super Bowl 57 is here, and it's going to be a barn burner. I'm Ryan Tracy from Locked On Chiefs, and we've been waiting for this all season. With all the hubbub that's gone around the Kansas City Chiefs, the loss of Tyreek Hill, Patrick Mahomes' recent ankle issue, all kinds of things that have fed into can they get this done and become a dynasty. That's what it comes down to. And that's something that is never going to be forgotten. This team will hinge on this game. Can they take away Travis Kelsey on the Eagles side? That's going to be a factor. Can you ignore or get around what Jason Kelsey does in trying to run the ball towards the Chiefs defense? These are all factors, but in the end, it's about controlling the quarterbacks. Can Patrick Mahomes stay un? touched enough to move his offense versus Jalen Hurts, who wants to run and hurt them as well. It's going to be a battle on the team that raises their level on the defensive side, wins this ball game. I think it's the Kansas City Chiefs 30 to 27. Get more here on Locked On, your team every day. Now, nobody knows these two teams better than the teams who played them, and plenty of teams got a shot at both the Eagles and the Chiefs in the regular season. Our hosts from Locked On Cardinals, Colts, Titans, and Jags tell you who they think has the edge after playing both contenders earlier this year. Who will come out on top? The best team or the best player? It's Alex Lancet with Locked On Cardinals. We're looking at two very differently constructed rosters. One has the benefit of paying a quarterback on a rookie scale contract. The other has already gotten his big deal and there have been casualties on the roster because of it. I lend to think taking Patrick Mahomes in this matchup is the correct way to go about it. That's not negating Jalen Hurts. That's not negating the front seven and offensive line of the Philadelphia Eagles, with which could be both respectively the best in football. Sometimes in big games, you just need somebody with that it factor above all else. Everybody in the NFL has it in some capacity because they're professional athletes, but I'm taking Patrick Mahomes over the field in a high-scoring affair. Chiefs win 35-30. Sunday is a matchup of two teams that have really built themselves the right way in the Chiefs and the Eagles, and I think that the Colts could learn a thing or two from them. This is Jake Arthur with the Locked On Colts podcast. So what I'm most excited about in in Sunday's Super Bowl matchup, you got two great quarterbacks in Jalen Hurts and Patrick Mahomes, some offensive-minded head coaches in Andy Reid and Nick Sirianni. There should be some fireworks. It should be a fun matchup. I'm going to give the edge to the Chiefs in a shootout, 40 to 38, just a little too much Patrick Mahomes. And I'm going to say that their pass rush gets home to Hurts a little bit. But I really want to make sure that the Colts have a microscope on this game to see what it can take to get to the next level and get a Super Bowl. You got the fourth overall pick to use on a quarterback. 
and you have some some young offensive minds in your head coaching finalists. Eagles offensive coordinator Shane Steichen is included in that. So look at this game, see what you can try and turn yourselves into. Yes, a lot of these guys don't grow on trees, but it gives you an area to start. Uh, for more on the Super Bowl matchup, check out the Locked On Podcast Network. For more on the Colts, check out Locked On Colts every Monday through Friday, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. I see Patrick Mahomes winning his second Super Bowl with the Kansas City Chiefs. My name is Tyler Rowland, host of the Locked On Titans podcast for Super Bowl 57. I think the Kansas City Chiefs find a way to win. And right now, they are a point and a half underdog on FanDuel.com. I think it's an excellent bet to get Patrick Mahomes, the best quarterback in the league, and the MVP getting points against the Eagles. A fascinating game between the best quarterback in the league and the best roster in the league. But at the end of the day, I think the quarterback finds a way to win. Kansas City beats Philadelphia 31-27. to I think the game this Sunday will be all about the trenches. I'm Tony Wiggins, the host of Locked On Jaguars. I believe the trenches and the line of scrimmage is where this game is going to be won. I know about all the wide receivers and tight ends and the dynamic quarterbacks and all of that stuff, and I expect that to play a part too. But eventually, someone's going to decide to start throwing body punches and wearing the other team out and keeping them off the field offensively. And I think that team is going to be the Eagles because they're bigger, it fits their mantra better. They have three capable running backs and a quarterback who can mix it up in the run game as well. So look for the Philadelphia Eagles to try to take the soul out of Kansas City. And I think they managed to do it and win this game 31-26. The Eagles dominated the NFC this season, getting the conference's top seed rolling through the playoffs as well. Locked on Vikings and Giants have their Super Bowl picks after falling to Philly in the playoffs while locked on Bears and Saints give their takes after playing the Eagles in the regular season. For Super Bowl 57, I think the more complete team is going to be able to clean up, and that means number two for the Philadelphia Eagles. What's up, everybody? Luke Braun here from Locked On Vikings. And I think with Jalen Hurts being perfectly healthy, with a more experienced secondary, with maybe the best unit in the whole game, which is their offensive line, I think the Eagles just have one too many advantages. It is a close, close, close contest, though. 1.5 uh, point spread over at FanDuel. So it's not the kind of thing that you get too confident about. And while there are questions surrounding the Chiefs, I certainly could see them answering all of those questions, but I don't see that as the more likely outcome. So I'm going to go with Eagles 37-34 per the uh, leaked game script. Can the Philadelphia Eagles claim their second Super Bowl championship since 2017? Hi, everybody. I'm Patricia Traina, host of the Locked on Giants podcast. And this year's Super Bowl matchup between the Eagles and Kansas City Chiefs pits two of the best and most complete teams together on the sport's biggest stage. But if there's one matchup that I think is really going to be the decider in this game, it's the number one scoring offense, the Chiefs, who averaged 29.2 points per game during the regular season against that stingy Eagles defense, which allowed an average of 20.2 points per game in the regular season. Now, while both offenses have the potential to turn this into a scoring shootout, defenses win championships. And that Eagles pass rush, which, by the way, includes the stellar play on the back end by their cornerbacks, has proven time and again that it's too much to handle, that it has been able to put its offense in a position to do its thing, and that it can win games. And as much as it pains me to say it, what with the Eagles having beaten up on the Giants for years, I think the Eagles take care of business against the Chiefs in what will be a classic defensive battle. Let's call it Eagles 27, Chiefs 24. Kansas City Chiefs quarterbacks coach Matt Nagy helped bring Justin Fields to the Chicago Bears. So the least we can do is root for him to get a Super Bowl ring, right? I'm Lauren Cox from the Locked on Bears podcast. And while the Bears fan base doesn't have a ton of love still for Matt Nagy, ultimately, if his pick at quarterback in Chicago pans out the way fans hope it will, he will have left the team in a better position than it was when he first got there. And now he's in a better position in Kansas City as well than he had with the Chicago Bears. So perhaps a mutual parting of ways best for both worlds type of situation. And now he finds himself in a great Super Bowl matchup against maybe the toughest test the Chiefs will face 
yet. A really good defense, really strong offense around Jalen Hurts. But in the Super Bowl, sometimes when two teams are neck and neck, it's the quarterback advantage that can put you ahead of the opponent. And despite Patrick Mahomes not having as strong of a supporting cast as Jalen Hurts, it's some of that Mahomes magic that feels like it'll be just enough to put the Kansas City Chiefs on top. So I'm going to predict a very close game that comes down to a late field goal. I'll say Kansas City Chiefs 27, Philadelphia Eagles 24. When it comes to this year's Super Bowl, I simply hope that the referees get out of the way and don't screw it all up. I'm Ross Jackson, host of the Locked On Saints podcast, and as somebody that has been hurt several times by postseason officiating, I just want to see the referees stay out of it. We have a real chance here to see Jalen Hurts, Patrick Mahomes, two fantastic offenses, and the two uh, undeniably best teams of the 2022 NFL season go at it head-to-head in what can be a high-scoring, high-octane, absolute shootout firefight for the biggest game of the year. Two offensive masterminds on each side of the offense as well, each sideline as well, in Nick Sirianni of the Philadelphia Eagles head coach and, of course, Kansas City Chiefs head coach and future Hall of Famer Andy Reid. This should be a very, very fun game to watch. I just hope that the part-time lunch monitors, excuse me, the referees and NFL officials stay out of the way, make the calls they need to make, but let this game decide itself. Oh, and by the way, in terms of my prediction, I'm going to assume that the refs do keep their noses out of it and that the Kansas City Chiefs are the next Super Bowl champions 35 to 31 against the Philadelphia Eagles. After making the Super Bowl for the third time in the last four years, the Chiefs have established themselves as the class of the AFC. Locked on Chargers, Broncos and Seahawks and Bucks have their picks for Sunday after they all lost to Kansas City this year. The Philadelphia Eagles are going to be able to do what the Philadelphia Phillies could not. This is David Drogamar of the Locked On Chargers podcast, and the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles are set to do battle on Sunday in the Super Bowl. And I think that the Kansas City Chiefs are going to get ran all over. I am really excited to see Jalen Hurts and that rushing attack really control the pace of this game, control the ball, and sprinkle in some deep shots to A.J. Brown as well. I have the Philadelphia Eagles winning the Super Bowl 34-28. to Have a good time with your friends and family and enjoy the big game. Super Bowl 57 is a lesson, a masterclass in the art of team building from two titans in that field. I'm Sarah Bettinger, co-host of Locked On Broncos, and I'm here to tell you that Super Bowl 57 is going to be talked about from all different angles. The Kelsey brothers, Patrick Mahomes, the the Kansas City Chiefs and Andy Reid and their play calling and all these different things. But the one thing that you can't overlook in this matchup is how well built these two teams are. Eagles general manager Howie Roseman, Kansas City Chiefs general manager Brett Veach, both build in the trenches they both build around quarterbacks they've both done it successfully who comes away with a win in this game how does the Kansas City Chiefs rebuilt offensive line from the Super Bowl a couple of years ago handle a defensive line unit a front seven that almost set an NFL record in sacks those are the things I'm looking forward to in this game and of course as Sean Payton the new head coach of the Denver Broncos said you don't wish any other opponents in the AFC West success so I'm taking the Philadelphia Eagles 37 to 34 in this one. Patrick Mahomes will be looking to make history with his second Super Bowl title while Jalen Hurts wants to make some history of his own with his first Lombardi trophy. This is Corbin Smith of the Locked On Seahawks podcast. There's a lot to be excited about with this upcoming Super Bowl matchup between the Chiefs and Eagles, two well-constructed teams that have drafted well in recent years, made some splash additions in free agency as well as through trades, including the Eagles landing A.J. Brown from the Titans this offseason. That has been a game-changer for Hurts and this offense. Both teams have loaded offensive and defensive lines. The trenches have been a big part of their success, and so I'm expecting this is going to be a physical football game. At the end of the day, with these two teams being evenly matched across the board, 
Patrick Mahomes has the edge over Jalen Hurts going into this game, including playing in a couple of Super Bowls previously. Mahomes is the best quarterback in the league. I think that is the difference in what should be a fairly high-scoring game. I have the Chiefs winning this one 37-34. to I think it's going to be a nail-biter with Patrick Mahomes being just a bit better than Jalen Hurts and allowing the Chiefs to get their second Super Bowl title in four years. He's been one of the best players of his generation, and now the NFL watching world will get to see him win Super Bowl number two in Super Bowl 57. I'm David Harrison, the Locked On Commanders and the Locked On Bucks podcast. And while a lot of focus is going to be on quarterbacks, Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts for the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles, respectively, it's really, to me, going to be all about the impact made by Kelsey. His team knows how to utilize him properly, and in his matchup, in this matchup, Kelsey has a valuable opportunity to exploit his defensive counterpart. If he does, then Kelsey's team will be celebrating at the end of this game, while the other has to fly east for the winter, wondering what could have been. I'm so confident in Kelsey and the impact he's going to make that, in fact, I see Kelsey's team winning by more than three, but less than seven. For more reaction following the game, make sure you check me out and my Kelsey supporting co hosts on the Locked On Bucks and Locked On Commanders podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Not everyone had to play the Chiefs or Eagles this season, but everyone has an opinion going into the biggest day of the sports calendar here in the USA. More on our Locked On NFL hosts chiming in for their picks for this Sunday. The season looks like it's going to end with a shootout in Phoenix. I'm John, the host of the Locked On Jets podcast, and I cannot wait for Super Bowl 57. It should be a great game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles in Phoenix on Sunday. The quarterback matchup is just outstanding. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes, who the best quarterback in the NFL, it's a bit difficult to dispute. Going up against Jalen Hurts, a quarterback who's developed tremendously in his three years in the NFL. I think if you're looking just at the quarterback battle, you have to give the edge to Kansas City, as good as Hurts has been this this year. There's nobody better, better than Mahomes right now. However, you look at these teams and match their rosters up. I think the Eagles have the edge. So I'm picking the Philadelphia Eagles to win Super Bowl 57 over the Kansas City Chiefs. And my final score prediction is 31 to 27 in a high scoring game. Kyle Krabs of Locked on Dolphins and Super Bowl 57 is just about upon us. How do I think the game plays out? I'm glad you asked. I think the Philadelphia Eagles have an advantage in the line of scrimmage on both sides of the football with the depth and talent that they have up front. This is an Eagles defense that is ferocious in rushing opposing passers. And with the extra preparation, I think they will have just enough to continue to offset Patrick Mahomes while simultaneously plastering their wide receiver core. The challenge, of course, containing Travis Kelsey. But if the Eagles can commit an extra body to doing so... I think their pass rush can get home. Meanwhile, on the other side of the ball, the Eagles have, in my opinion, a more consistent ability to run the ball and their quarterback's ability to win as a rusher and be plus one in the run game as well gives the Eagles enough strategic answers, in my mind, to play a balanced game offensively. Those two things combined, in my eyes, gives the Eagles the advantage to secure their second Super Bowl victory. I can't wait to watch Jalen Hurts duel Patrick Mahomes in Super Bowl 56. I'm Aaron Freeman, host of Locked on Falcons. First off, I love seeing two black quarterbacks facing off in this year's Super Bowl with Jalen Hurts and Patrick Mahomes. And we've all seen what Patrick Mahomes can do on the biggest stage, but we haven't quite seen that from Jalen Hurts. And we're not that far from removed from his playoff struggles last year. And while he's been steady this postseason going through the NFC wasn't exactly a tough slight and so I want to see what Hertz can do on the biggest stage does he rise to the occasion or is the moment too big for him and selfish me part of me kind of looks at uh, the Eagles as a model for what the Falcons can build around Desmond Ritter in terms of what the Eagles have built around Jalen Hertz so I want to see that and I'm expecting a great game I hope Hertz brings it because I know Patrick Mahomes will. And because of that faith in Mahomes, I'm going to roll with the Chiefs in a close back and forth game by a score of 32 to 30. Super Bowl 57 is not going to be an easy one for New England Patriots fans to watch. I'm Mike DeBate, host of Locked On Patriots. And it's true, Patriots fans have a tough choice here. On the one hand, you have the team that handed you your last Super Bowl loss. On the other hand, 
You've got a team that's being talked about way too early as a potential dynasty. But don't let that stop you from what's going to be an amazing game coming up on Sunday. The two best teams in football. Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. He is a dynamic talent, a quarterback, one of the best, if not the best in the game right now. He'll keep his team close, but I like this Eagles defense to get at least a couple of key stops, keep the Chiefs out of the end zone. That's going to allow that Eagles running game with Jalen Hurts leading the charge to get on track and to find the end zone against the Chiefs defense. I like the Eagles in this one by a final of 36 to 31. Nick Sirianni and his team hoist the Lombardi Trophy this Sunday. Patrick Mahomes will continue to cement his legacy Sunday night in Super Bowl 57. Hey everybody, this is Jeff Lloyd from the Locked On Browns podcast with my thoughts on Super Bowl 57. In my opinion, for the Philadelphia Eagles to make a game of this, they're going to have to continue their success with running the ball that they have the entire season. Kansas City Chiefs against the Jacksonville Jaguars in the playoffs had issues stopping the run, but against the Cincinnati Bengals, they were able to take that away. If the Eagles have any shot in this game, they're going to have to run the ball with success because Jalen Hurts is not ready to go throw for throw with a special quarterback like Patrick Mahomes. I think the Chiefs will be up to the task, allowing the Chiefs to lift their second Lombardi under Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes. Jeff Lloyd, host of Locked On Browns, available free wherever you get your podcasts, and of course on YouTube and the Roku app. Finally, Locked On Fantasy Football and Peacock and Williamson have covered the Eagles, Chiefs, and everybody else throughout the season. They have their picks going to, into the Eagles and Chiefs matchup on Sunday. Who's ready for an exciting Super Bowl 57 between the Eagles and Chiefs? It's going to be a lot of fun when Jalen Hurts takes on Patrick Mahomes. I'm Vinny Iyer, host of Locked On Fantasy Football, and I can't wait for the battle of these two quarterbacks in the big game. Eagles, Chiefs, it should be exciting. Live up to expectations here. And the best part, there's going to be a lot of scoring and good stuff for fantasy football. Now, who do I like on either side to really produce well i do like one arthur juan brown aj brown on the eagle side to really go off in this game against that young chief secondary so feeling him having a big game in this one on the other side of things with the chiefs i think they're gonna have to run the ball to win this game so isaiah pacheco is my pick there to do some damage on the ground and provide some fantasy production with what you need with the yardage and scoring. So I like Brown and Pacheco to have big games as well as find the end zone in Super Bowl 57. As far as who do I like to win the game, I'm going with the Eagles. They're the complete team in this one. They've got all the weapons around Jalen Hurts. They've got the better defense, including the better pass rush. So I'm taking the Eagles in a thriller over the Chiefs in regulation, 31-27 the final score. Jalen Hurts outduels Patrick Mahomes. Well, hello. I am Matt Williamson of the Peacock and Williamson podcast, as well as Locked On Dynasty. And I am super psyched up for this Super Bowl matchup. I got to admit, I think this is the two best teams, a great matchup between the best roster in the league, an unbelievably well-constructed Eagles team, an evolving quarterback against what I think, frankly, is the best quarterback I've ever seen, and Andy Reid and Chris Jones and the star power they have. So in that regard, I couldn't be more excited. We got gypped a little bit, you know, in some of these playoff games. I don't think that's going to be the case in the Super Bowl. And I think a big question is, is this a Chiefs dynasty? Is that what we're in the middle of? Are they going to be in the Super Bowl every other year or so? Are they going to be AFC champions or AFC championship game every year like they have been? Sure looks like it. Um, but is Mahomes special enough to beat the NFC or the NFL's best roster that really doesn't have many holes and can attack the Chiefs in so many ways on both sides of the ball? But a big matchup to me is I'm really impressed with the Chiefs offensive line, especially on the interior. But I also don't think it's nearly the level of the Eagles offensive line. And I don't know if it's the leg the level of the Eagles deep and talented and diverse defensive line. But a new wrinkle to Mahomes, this guy doesn't take sacks anymore. You know, I mean, so can they, the team that led the league in sacks by a wide margin, can they affect Mahomes play after play after play against a really good defensive line? I think that's the biggest key to the game. In the end, I think that that group does enough. The Eagles get a win 31-30, but trust me, I am really hesitant to bet against Mahomes in any situation, let alone a Super Bowl. 
That will do it for this edition of Locked On Game to Game NFL. Thank you for making Locked On your first listen every single weekday. Make sure you subscribe to Locked On NFL and your favorite team's Locked On podcast to keep up with them on the big day and, of course, in the offseason as well. I'm your host, Kainani Stevens, and this has been Locked On Game to Game.